everybody welcome back to my channel for the ones who are new here hi my name is apurva and i'm an artist who loves to practice all kinds of medium my favorite one being watercolors and that is what we'll be doing today you can check out my artworks on instagram and facebook i'll link them here below and in the caption as well so our today's video is about making a mini polaroid painting and the special thing about this one would be that we'd be using only three colors which would be dark blue black and yellow so i hope you enjoy it please come and paint along with me and don't forget to share your results with me also please like share comment and subscribe to my channel it would mean the world to me without further ado let's get into the video enjoy hi everyone as you can see i have arranged supplies i have the paper here this is the brush row 180 gsm paper so this paper is thinner as compared to what i use so that you can paint on the papers that you have available home and i have these paints that i just showed to you these are from colin's very art the water tissue and the palette so now that we have our supplies arranged in one place let's get started so the first step would be applying water. I'm gonna wet my sheet with the minimum amount of water. Then I'm picking up the Prussian blue from the palette and I am directly going ahead with it on the paper. I can also uh, start from yellow but I as you know go from dark to light so I picked up the blue and I have slightly smudged the top of the frame with blue and now I'm taking yellow covering the bottom part of the painting here we are making a sunrise so we are using the colors really light the thing we have to take care while painting the yellow is to leave a little area for blue otherwise they'll mix up and end up making green which we don't want now i'm enhancing the color blue by adding the strokes of it at the top and at the space where which i left while painting the yellow and now comes the main highlight of this painting which would be using the lifting technique i am taking a slightly damp brush and picking up the color at the bottom left of the sunset this lifting technique will help us in showing the rays of the sun uh, with a very slight white tinge to them as you can see the brush needs to be cleaned after every lift otherwise the blue color will end up showing in the rays and we do not want that this is a mistake that uh, we should not uh, we should take care of and now i'm taking the yellow color and adding a bit of it to the rays and the sky now just to get an idea where the sunrise needs to start and the pine trees need to be made i am just making the ground before i highlight the sky again now that the sky has been air dried i'm adding more colors to it so that uh, the depth of the sunrise increases i'm adding another layer of paint so that the vibrancy of the painting increases you can skip this step if you'd like Mm, but i like my paintings vibrant that's why i'm doing this and using the lifting technique again i am enhancing the sun rays as well after this step we'll let the painting dry because then we need to make the trees in the foreground and we do not want them to mix with the background if the painting's wet right so we'll let it dry and i'm taking a very light blue i'm adding the water to our prussian blue so that um, it gives a really light tinge of the trees which will be the farthest away from the viewpoint and that is why they will be made with the lightest hue of blue and here i'm slowly and steadily constructing them using a thin brush this is a, i think a size 2 or size 0 brush and you can take the smaller size brush that you have to make these trees the easiest way of making the pine trees is randomly making the leaves on both the sides of the bark and you have to you don't have to worry about anything just go with the flow and keep on making the leaves now we'll be using the last and the final color black this color will be used to make the trees in the 
forefront of the painting. Always remember to wait for the previous layer to dry or you can even dry it with a blow dryer before proceeding on to the next layer. Otherwise the colors will tend to merge together which we don't want. So here as you can see I am slowly and steadily of course this is a sped up painting <laughs> but I am constructing the trees together and covering the space with the black trees and you can see how these trees appear to be more closer to your eye view than the blue ones that we made in the background and that's how the color play and the shadows work. Guys we are proceeding to almost the end of the painting and if you are still here with me thank you so much. I really can't wait to see your work. So now that we are done with the black pine trees also we can see that we have two rows of pine trees right with the blue and the black one. Now what we'll do is we'll mix these colors together and make some pine trees which will give us the picture or the perspective that these pine trees constructed with this color lie between the black and the blue ones. So they would come kind of in the middle of these. This will add in giving more depth to our painting. Adding more black and now we are done with the painting. We'll take off the masking tape slowly and steadily not tearing off the paper. In case you feel the masking tape is tearing off, you can blow a hair dryer on it and then slowly take it off. Then it might not rip off the paper. Happy watching the satisfying tape peel. And we are done with taking the masking tape off. It's my favorite part actually. And voila, we are done with the painting. So this part is completely option since this is a Polaroid frame. I would like to letter under it. So that is why I'm taking a marker and doing the same. This part is completely optional as I said. If you want to do it, you can do it and I'll share the outcome with you.